Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is doing okay. This video is, if inflation goes up, then that's going to give poor people less buying power. So what are we going to do about this? What we're going to do is we are going to cut all the expenses we can and we are going to hang on to as much money as we can. And, and that is easier said than done. Okay, the coronavirus recession could plunge tens of millions into poverty. That I wouldn't doubt. The poverty rate could spike as much as 50% if the nation's un if, if the nation's unprecedented plunge in all in unemployment is prolonged. Uh, it's already gone from uh, March until it's the middle of October. That's pretty pro prolonged. I would figure that it would go on until the end of the year. So there's only one possible solution, and that is self-employment. So you have to create a business. Most a retail business is safest because when you're you're selling resale, you're actually selling an item that someone might possibly need. So items um, might be food, clothes, rentals, like home rentals, and um, these are things people are going to have to have. So okay. So, um, like food would be food you can grow. If you have the capacity to grow food or sell some of your food, uh, what could really help is if you had food so that you didn't have to buy any food for, a pro for prolonged periods of time. That is really going to help you. Clothes. Um, the trick to clothes is buy very, very cheap and then sell reasonable because people what I see in the, the shopping centers is like old retail that they're pulling in, you know, to sell. So there's no reason we couldn't do that as well. Um, I, I'd say selling on uh, eBay should be pretty safe. Uh, rentals, you know, for people to live in, like garage, um, sharing the house. Uh, parking motorhomes in yards and stuff like that to help with the expenses would be the way to go. Okay, the poverty rate by country to 2020 U.S., Russia, Mexico, and Japan. That's what they're saying. So, uh, storable food is better than money and get your free food now. So, okay, you don't have any money to speak of but there's nothing to prevent you from getting food uh, i rented uh, i mean i posted a video i watched a video the poverty princess food pantry hall 10 15 2020 and she'll be making some uh chili so you don't have any money but you have access to food and so that way, when you get some, some uh, money, you can eat your uh, food pantry food. You should get the food pantry food anyway, if you're really, really broke. Uh, so the, the prediction would be inflation is coming. That's what I would predict. I'm not an economist. So... Um, there's been a spike already in cereal, vegetable oil, dairy, meat, and sugar. So the thing to do is now stockpile this so that you can get in the position. I got this today at Walmart. Uh, I think these were about $3 and something cents each. And then I bought some biscuit mix so that there was no chance I would run out of bread. I can also make pancakes and stuff with this too. And then uh, they had this pumpkin bread. So the, the best thing you can do is, is access yourself to the social services if you're really poor and start stockpiling up food. 
Okay, so now I ran into a guy today, you know, when we were waiting around in line, and um, he said Arizona is a lot cheaper than uh, California, but Arizona is really, really hot, but it is better than living on the street, and also Mexico is cheaper, but I would rather live in Arizona. So the thing to do is find the, the lowest price place you possibly can live. Okay, uh, I watch a good video, one in three Americans will starve, food shortages, 2021, end time teacher. And uh, he mentioned Dollar Trees have uh, jobs. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, doubt it that these dollar stores uh, run out of inventory. And so he bought um, for his food storage chicken, cat, chicken milk and canned vegetables and then he has another video you guys go subscribe to uh the poverty princess and uh in time teachers here's his other video uh emergency food storage is coming 2020. uh the trick to the good store of uh, the, the good food storage is you say to yourself Oh, what did I just run out of before payday? Oh, milk? Okay, well, maybe I can get an extra package. Or uh, what would be really bad is no bread, no sandwiches, no eggs and bread. Eggs with no bread, tuna with no bread. So, uh, and buy one every now and then as, as finances allow. And then Dana Coverstone, October 16, God warns America must watch. God bless everyone. Uh, stock market crash and power outage. Okay, so we've had some pretty disagreeable, uh, it, California's been awful because we've also had fires. Um, I think that um, so far they've controlled the inflation, but I don't think that is gonna last for long. But the main thing you need is shelter, food, and water. So, no. Um, the best way to stockpile food is uh, stockpile food you eat all the time. Um, okay, so the pandemic started around mid-March. So it's been a long time. And so what happened is small businesses and restaurants in particular were hard hit and gyms. Um, Amazon has gone, stayed strong. Um, I, I haven't done that much, um, that much eBay, but almost everything, I, I only have 10 items on there now and five have bids. Um, it, hand sanitizing and Netflix have gone up. But I would say the thing to do is just start um, cutting all your expenses down to nothing for the rest of the year and then see what happens. So uh, what possibly we have on our hands is a wealth grab and land grab. So if you do have any land, you wanna hang on to that. You wanna hang on to all your money as best you can. Like if you have enough enough food in the house that you can eat, like for the rest of the week, or you can go a couple days, or if you get a little extra money and you buy some uh, a little food, or if you uh, sell something you have, then maybe buy a, a little uh, food and stuff to sell. Okay, there is nothing you have that is more valuable than storable food. So just get that in your mind that before you go out to eat, wouldn't it be a lot smarter to buy this? I don't remember how much this is. It's $2 and something cents. Or buy this. This is going to be good too. Another thing is going to be uh, no oil to fry your tortillas is going to be bad. And clean water. So, you know, if you can, uh, at my house, by my house, we have a kiosk. Store all the newspapers and paper you can, just in case you have to wipe your new, you know what, with it. God forbid. Uh, try to store camp gear. Maybe you want a camp stove so you can cook your 
your um, food. I wouldn't doubt it if we see massive power outages. Uh, the main thing is if you can afford a small generator to keep your refrigerator going, but if not, then you've got to get uh, find a place where you can get ice and uh, you don't necessarily have to have a cooler, but it would be good. But you could throw your um, food in the um, bathtub and throw some ice ice on top of it if you don't have coolers. But um, I have cheap coolers. I'll try to show you my cheap. I use my coolers a lot. Okay, just to let you, sh just to let you know... This is, I bought this cooler, yes, and in here I have ice, and in my cooler, I don't know if you can see it, there is water in there. So I have my plants, my cactuses, I don't have any edible food, but I have my cactuses very spoiled. They like to drink ice water, yes, you guys. But they, they add a lot of beauty and all that stuff. Okay, so now, if you were gonna sell things, camp gear, warm coats, sweaters, shoes, and create stores, go to thrift stores and buy new clothes to sell. I walk by the mall and those clothes are some old inventory. I can get old inventory at the thrift stores for a dollar, I've showed you. Don't spend any money except for items essential for your survival. Or somebody else's survival. Okay, so as the inflation goes up, the poor people have less spendable income. Reduce spending as low as possible. Okay, and then on your meals each day. Uh oh, that's the end of the video, you guys.